Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. And today I'm going to try to make a mute and unmute player command with this webhook logging. It's very simple, so I'm just going to get straight into it. So to start, you want to insert a script and in service script service, and then just name this mute manager. And then we have to define some variables at the top, which is going to be the chat service, the webhook service, the channel, the prefix, and the admin, and the URL. So we'll do local chat service equals require, and then game get service server script service not social service server script service wait for child chat service runner wait for child chat service like that and this is going to be automatically there so you don't have to worry about putting it there it it is already there when you start the game and then you want to insert my webhook service module which will be in the description below completely free and then just put this inside of your server script and then do local discord equals require script dot webhook service local url equals and then you'll put your webhook url here i'm gonna leave it blank for now local prefix equals i'm gonna use exclamation mark don't use the slash i mean you can use the slash but it'll be confusing because the slash mute is already a built-in command but it's only for a player like if i'm in a game like the blossberg and i want to mute someone i do slash mute and i'll mute them for me but not for everybody else obviously so you can just do exclamation mark but it won't have any built-in chat messages like slash mute has slash mute if you do slash mute it'll say muted player name but it can get confusing as sometimes so local admins equals and this is going to be the table of the user id of the admins you want to mute I mean, not the admins, you know, I mean, the admins who have the ability to mute. And then, yeah. So we have to do, we have to define a function, which is get player from text. And this is going to let us get the player from a shortened um, text. So if I, if my username was Luascape and I type in Lua, it'll still know it's me. So it just makes everything easier. Local function, get player from text, text. Local player found equals found equals nil or i comma player in i pairs game dot players get players do you can do um in i pairs or in pairs it doesn't really matter i pairs just does it in order um if string dot lower player player dot name and then colon sub one comma hashtag text equals equals string dot lower text then player found equals player break and then underneath this just do return player found so this is going to basically just look for the player if their name matches if their short name matches you know the full text and then it'll it'll return the player to the uh, original function. Now we're going to get on to the main function. Game.players.playerAdded connect function player. And then player.chatted connect function message. Now we do, we have to check if it's a command. So to do that, we do local is command equals string.match message, comma, and then the little up arrow which is on your six, if you hold shift and press six, and then comma one. And then if is command and table.find admins player, admins comma player dot user ID, then. So if it's a command and they're admin, then we can um, meet the player. So message equals string dot G sub message is command and then comma uh empty empty um an empty string and then comma one so i have a comma after all that and then local args equals zero not zero empty table and the args is basically arguments that's gonna be the chat argument so mute 
So slash mute is the first argument. Mute's the first argument. And the player name will be the second argument. So we'll do for argument in string dot g match message comma and then open a string like this and open square brackets and then do an up arrow percent s close the square brackets do a plus and then uh end the string off like that do table dot insert args argument like that this is going to be kind of complicated but you know it's it's pretty simple it's it might look complicated but it's easier to type out so then that's the for loop done so we'll do local target equals get player from text args two so the second argument is going to be the player's name and then we'll get the player from that so if if target and target dot name is not equal to player dot name so if the target is actually in the game and the target is not yourself then if args one equals equal if no if arg one's lower equals equals mute then is where we mute the player so up here i forgot to do it so you want to do chat service get you want to do not that local channel equals chat service get channel all with a capital a like that and this would be the channel you can use to mute so then we'll just do channel mute speaker capital m capital s and then target dot name like that and then we could do discord create message create message url and then we'll do player dot name dot dot to concatenate a string and then put a space muted base dot dot target dot name so it'll look something like this i'll put it on screen then we'll do else if args one lower equals equals unmute then we'll do channel unmute speaker capital u capital s target dot name and then we'll do the same message here but just change muted to unmuted like that and then yeah that's it so let me put my webhook url real quick all right so i put my webhook url my webhook url here and i'm going to test it in a local server and obviously the two fake players aren't going to have the user id in the admin table so i'm going to remove that so where it says if is command and table that find admins i'm just going to remove that you can keep that um so just to make it so any player can't mute anybody and they just put it back you know when you're done testing and then i'm going to go over here to test okay so i made a mistake right here instead of doing if is command message up arrow one do up arrow and then dot dot prefix so it's looking for the prefix and then it should work when we go ahead and test. All right, so again, this says player one. I mean, player two. So I have to do mute player one. Then I'll type E. It says you are muted and cannot talk in this channel. And then I can do unmute player one. And then I can talk in the channel. And then you can see in the Discord server right here, it says player two mute a player one and player two unmute a player one. And it'll do this for any admin who mutes or unmutes a player. Yeah, if you need help with this, you can drop my server in the description below. Um, it's pretty simple. It'll also be my plugin here. If you go to plugins and buy this, it'll be in the video description right here. So you can just easily insert it like that. And uh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. We're almost at a thousand. And yeah.